Hi guys and welcome back to the second part of creating a custom film admin panel. Today I'm going to show you how to create an upload section for your favicon and your logo and then a little text area where you can save your analytics code. So what are we building today? As you know this is the second part of the series and today we are going to build a jQuery menu in our current settings menu. We will then add fields for our logo and favicon and write some code to use the media uploader to upload our images for the section. We will then go ahead and add a section for our analytics code. When this is all done, we will go ahead and write the code to save the data that we've in input to the database. I will then show you how to implement it in your theme. So today I wanted to give you a little bit of a taste uh, of what you'll be creating. Um, I've created the menu part, which you'll see here, and uh, you can switch between general settings, font settings, and your element colors. Um, I will be covering the font style and element colors in uh, later lessons. So, uh, today we're just working on the general settings part. And uh, so let me just show you how it works. Um, you, can, you can press upload image and uh, the WordPress uh, 3.5 media uploader pops up and it's quite nice. It's uh, way different than the old one. Um, I've already uploaded an image and now you can just select it and insert it. Uh, the same for the favicon. Um, you'll realize when working with this uh, that the media uploader is quite uh, quite quicker than the previous one. Um, it just pops up in instantly. So let's uh, do the Google Analytics field quickly and just say work and then save settings. And you'll see it says general settings saved and it's gone again. So that's what you can expect. So let's get started. Okay, let's just uh, get back to where we left off. Um, uh, we, if, as you remember, we created a, a menu section, uh, which is called theme settings. And we created a Zucker main theme menu, part where, where you actually add your HTML. And we created a Zucker main theme menu function uh, to add your HTML and uh, to display the rest of your menu. So we'll be continuing today with this. Something to mention is, uh, the, is the function add menu page. Uh, we won't be using this today. Um, we're going to comment this out. The reason for this is to change the way that uh, we add the, the menu. So we're going to use a different way of adding it because uh, if, you, if you create themes for theme forest and places like Woo themes, um, you're going to have to use a plugin called theme check. And this plugin actually recommends uh, the correct way of doing a theme uh, and uh, adding menus and so on. So a function that we will be using is a function called add um, add theme page. So we're going to use this instead of the add menu page. So let's just do this quickly. Let's add menu page. And if I press enter, Sublime nicely creates this for me as it's a plugin that I'm using for Sublime Editor which makes life so much easier. Um, so I've already got the page title, the menu title, the capability, the menu slug and the function which we will just take this part out. Um, and what you'll notice is, is that we're not going to use the icon URL so we can comment that out as well. The reason for this is because it's going to become a child of the appearance menu. So uh, let me sh show you how it looks quickly. Um, you've got your appearance menu and then it becomes a child, theme settings. So you lose your icon that you've previously used. So let's just go back to the code quickly. And the next thing we need to do is um, add some more HTML. So basically I'm not gonna type everything out because it's, it's such a big hassle to to type everything else, I'm pasting it in. Um, so I'll explain to you. So I've created this extra HTML, um, which you'll be using as your menu. Um, you'll you'll see that there's general settings. Uh, you'll see that there's general settings and the children of the general settings page, which is also general settings and font style. And then you've got your element colors menu, and these are the ones that we're going to be using uh, for this lesson. 
Now to make this menu active, we need to add some JavaScript. The JavaScript that we'll be adding is uh, something custom that I've created. Um, I'll explain it to you just now. So let's just get started and write the function to add our JavaScript. Um, let's just write function 